In that respect, do not be fooled into believing that since we're not like Asia, we cannot have an a developmental state. We, may, we, we will not have in Africa an Asian developmental state. If we try to do, it will be absurd. We are not Asians and we don't live in Asia. But we can have states in Africa that are developmental, that are, are shaped by African people. I would also insist that unlike perhaps the Asian situation, which was uh, more authoritarian, our states will have to be democratic. The view that you can have democratic developmental state may seem paradoxical, given the usual view that uh, historically the authoritarian regimes have done better than, uh, have done well in, in terms of economic performance. And there was, in fact, a whole literature saying that you know, democracy was something you do after development. I would argue myself that in Africa we have no choice but to have states that are democratic and developmental for many reasons. Uh, I'm sometimes, in a very cultural sense, inclined to believe that Africans work best when they're consulted. And so <laughs> it's nature of our, our, our cultures. You know, we are a, a talking culture, and Africans, want, once they, they engage in the palabra, or in, the, in the talk, they, get, they, they feel uh, as belong. So we just have to do that. Secondly, our, to manage our diversity, uh, and we are ethnically d d diverse people. This is the richest continent in terms of eth ethnicity. We have more than a thousand ethnic groups in, in this continent. And this, you know, it's, a, it's not a, a curse. I think it's, it's just a reflection of a rich culture. To manage that rich culture, we have to provide a pluralistic environment. We just, so we have no choice. We just have to, have to provide that. And it's also interesting that when people cite uh, development,